So you've set up your new Epson printer and are ready to get printing. Unfortunately, the rip that you are using doesn't have the media or profile that you need. If only there was an online resource that you could go to and get this information. Well, Epson has thought through this and has the answer. It's Epson Edge Dashboard. Let's take a look. I'm Bob Meller, Color Services Manager here at IT Supplies, and today I'm going to show you how to make the most out of the resources available on Epson Edge Dashboard. Let's take a look at this software. So here, I've gone ahead and installed Epson Edge Dashboard, and uh, we're now looking at the main screen, and we have one of our printers, the Epson S80-600. Uh, right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. So the great thing about Epson Edge Dashboard it is, is that it is your window to everything regarding your printer. So um, if you want to know your ink levels, you can see those here. If you want to see how your waste ink bottle is doing, your wiper unit, you know, uh, how the heat temperatures are doing, all of this is available here. Our printer's in use, but normally you'd also be able to remotely, if you have this set up, uh, print a nozzle check pattern, do a head cleaning, execute some ink circulation, start the preheating. Um, so, so there's a lot of powerful features right here on this dashboard. Uh, beyond that, you'll notice that there's this little rip icon right up in the upper right-hand corner. I'm just gonna click on that for a second and show you something. So here in the rip icon, you're gonna see the different Epson products. And if you go to any of these, uh, you're gonna see the rips that are supported. If there is a YouTube channel for that particular rip, it's going to show here. Um, Sometimes they have success stories, so that's always helpful as well. So, um, so this is just another resource that you can use um, to get information. Uh, now, let's go back to our dashboard. So here in the dashboard, we have a media settings tab. You're gonna see right away that there is a cloud icon, and if you hover over the cloud icon, it's gonna say download EMX files. So this is where you can access uh, the different medias that are available on the cloud. So uh, if we go to the media vendor and let's just choose 3M here and I hit search, we're gonna see a number of different 3M medias. So in this case, I'm just gonna pick one. I'm gonna pick the ER500. I'm gonna check the box next to it and I'm gonna click download. Once this file is downloaded, uh, you're gonna be able to close this out and you're gonna see this information available right here in the source area. Now, we want to put this media uh, and the presets on the printer. So over on the right-hand side, you will see that we have uh, the printer that is currently connected and we have some available slots where we can put this media. So I'm gonna hover over the arrow and execute copy, and we're gonna go ahead and put the media in the sixth slot on the printer. That's gonna give it the information for the thickness, the platen gap, the, the heater settings, etc. And it's also got a spot where the calibration and the profile are located in the EMX. So, um, let's just go ahead and hit apply. Once we do that, the media is now available on the printer. When we walk up to it, we'll be able to see it there. And your RIP will now have access to this information. Now, with some RIPs like EFI, this should be automated. Um, Onyx as well, they do know where that file is, but sometimes you do have to point them to where the files are located. 
We're not going to go into that specific area right now, but I will show you how to find out the directory where all of these are located. If you go to the three tabs over on the left and you go down to preferences, you'll be able to see the EMX uh, folder that you need to access. So make sure you go to your RIP. If it's not finding the files, you can put this uh, copy and paste this location into the proper area of your RIP and it should be able to find them. Uh, one thing to note is occasionally you do have to restart the RIP. Uh, I've noticed that, you know, with EFI and others that they don't automatically sync. The RIP needs to be stopped or and then restarted and then the files will go ahead and sync. If you have any questions or need any additional information, please go ahead and reach out to IT Supplies. You can ask for color services or our tech team, and we'll be more than happy to help you. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe uh, below. We certainly appreciate any feedback that you give. Thanks so much for watching.